Hey guys, it's Train Gamer Man five five six eight, and welcome back to my layout. Um, so my Niagara Steam locomotive got some new updates. It has a let's see. Um, Di Digitrax decoder in it. Oh, it, it works pretty good. It's a DCC slash DC decoder, which and and it and um stop it. Um, like it, um, if I put it on a DCC track and then put it on a um, a DC system, you know, like, automatically switch. Um, and I also, um, had to put an LED headlight in it because my other one burnt out. And there's going to be no more smoke because you probably already know what's going to happen. But that one burnt out. So, so the good thing about this decoder is that it gives you the option to run on both systems. The downside is that, like, I had this, I had this all the way in, in the um, off position. See the uh, little white marker there? It was like that, and it was going full speed around. So this thing likes to jerk around a lot. See, like that. I'm not even giving it a lot of power in it. it tries to take off. It also, it also goes a lot faster now. A lot faster. So, so this weekend I will not be able to upload because, um, oh, come on, see that, that caboose likes to uncouple itself, I don't know why, it just does, um, so, Next week, oh, next weekend, I won't be able to upload because I am not going to be here Sunday, and, um, and I'm not going to be able to upload, s oh, all weekend because, one, I'm doing, I have, I have plans, and I'm going off with my model railroad club um, down. I think it was either Connecticut or what was it, the Cape, out to this train museum. Um, also, I got my Coca-Cola train up and running. Here's the um, here's I only have two, um, three out of four cars. Because that white um, trailer car right there, right next to the yellow caboose, that's also supposed to go with this set, but I have it on that train. So, I don't know.
So the only thing that's um that's bad about that Coca Cola now is that it used to pull like a full train, but those three um three um, those two rail cars and the caboose is all I can pull now. Cause um hold on a second. One of the um, dog bones broke. See, there's a dog bone. See the dog bone in there? There isn't in here. The um, the dog bone broke. I don't remember why, how, or how. But that's 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 dead now. The um, that's wh that's why I can't pull as much because uh, this locomotive is supposed to be a. Come on, get in there. A uh, eight eight wheel drive locomotive, but it's only four wheel drive now, so it doesn't have the isn't that good in traction. You know that 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 type of jazz. Um, I'm getting there. You're kidding me. Always in the way. See, just like... Come on, stop jerking. Um, see, the caboose uncoupled. And that train light is bright. I'm like, I'm not even kidding that that sucker's bright. So this the steam locomotive is the um, only locomotive that I've ever owned with a DCC decoder. But there is going to be, I don't know, I'm saving up for around, um, I'm not going to give you the exact price because I'm not that stupid, but $1,000 for one train. So that was, um, I don't know if you know them, but Walters has this. Amtrak um, Amfleet two car two phase two cars and the light interior which is outrage with this, this price out is outrageous for light, light interiors ninety bucks for one rail car which is straight up crazy I don't know I can get like Two rail cars from Bachman for that same price. Two of the same rail cars. I mean, like, they're not the same, like, because the Walters has the metal plated finish and with the LED light interiors. Walt, um, oh, Bachman has the, he still has the same car, except... It really isn't the um, the blue stripe going down the side. It, re it re really isn't the blue. But, and that they have incandescent bulbs. So, I don't want to talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.